All right, guys. So uh, this is day two here. Uh, uh, it, all the sets that I showed you yesterday were mainly from this first location we're going to check. So I'm just going to kind of follow through with that one and show you. So anyway, we've come down here. Uh, we're I'll kind of pan the camera here. We're back down in this this big cut here. Up there's where we made a coyote set. And up there's where we made a coyote set. There's nothing in those which doesn't surprise me at all very rarely do i hit on coyotes on the first night but uh anyway just kind of wanting to show you what we got the next day uh we ended up having i put two canine sets and then uh 10 coon sets on this property piece of property so uh you know it's just one of one of seven locations i got set up yesterday but anyway uh what we've got here is this is the importance of setting on sign there's a coon right there and then they came down there and if that shows up there's another real nice coon and i can't see down far enough for the other sets but uh you know right here boom boom doubled on coon you might as well call it this one here he's he's small we're gonna let him go grow up next year but uh you know it's still a catch so you know setting on sign does pay off uh so anyway, I'm going to get him released, get that one there taken care of, and uh, we'll move down and see if we've got anything else to show you. All right, guys, so uh, the rain quit, you know, so I can talk a little bit longer on this time. Uh, but anyway, we come down the creek a little ways. We got that, that smaller coon released. We got that other one taken care of, and uh, we come down here, and uh, there we've got another coon. That's a nice big, big boar coon. That's mainly what we're after there. Uh, you can tell he you can see the PVC sitting right next to him. Call him our PVC set. Uh, you know, right there is a dog proof. Now he could have come from that way, or you know, who knows? But uh, you know, there's right next to that dog proof, not three feet away, is fresh digging. And uh, you know, there's no squirrel tracks around there, so I'd say that was coon digging, and that wasn't there yesterday when I set the trap. So uh, caught him in a PVC set. That, that second coon there, he was caught in a dog proof, and it was both places where I had a double set up, a PVC or a dog proof. So, uh, you know, each coon chose each, but, uh, you know, it, it's just one of them deals where you need to set doubles, especially for these late winter coons. Uh, you know, it, they might not just be hungry, you know. They're, they're, this is a rutting coon here, more than likely. You know, he's just worried about scent and running from den tree to den tree rather than uh, food you know so he just passed up that dog proof he come to that pvc set it was just a scent thing he didn't have to eat it he just had to slow down enough and just walk around to, to get caught and that's what he did so uh you know like i said just vary your things up you know dog proofs are a great tool but they're not the only tool you know learn how to learn how to do other things so uh Anyway, I'm going to get him taken care of, but I just wanted to show you here. I come in here yesterday, and I set 10 traps. I set two coyote sets, and I set eight coon traps. And I caught three coons today. So three out of eight. Uh, that, that's a great percentage, you know, and uh, to have on coons. You know, it's really a great percentage to have on anything. But, uh... Anyway, you know, that's that's coming in, that's setting on sign, that's making good sets. That's how, I'm, that's how you do that. And I'm not saying I do it every day or all the time, but I'm just saying, you know, that's how things work. Three out of eight is damn good. Uh, you know, and, and here in my state, you know, we can't trap right away. Uh, you know, we're not, uh, can't trap under culverts and bridges, you know, and stuff. So, I mean, it, it, it limits, you know, the places that a guy can go, you know, and just, like we talked yesterday, you know, it's muddy. I had to walk in over half a mile to get to this place right here. So you need to make your sets count. And, you know, I brought in 10 traps today. I brought in some more today I'm gonna set, you know, cause it's all I wanna pack. And I'm gonna keep moving sets around. We're gonna keep uh, keep training things up. We're gonna keep catching the coons. So, uh, you know, like I said, we'll see what the rest of the day holds. I set up several more locations, like I said. 
so uh you know maybe we'll have some few more but i just wanted to go through this one because this is the one you know i kind of took you guys through yesterday so uh you know like i said keep things mixed up good sets good bait produces good cans okay so uh just because you're out on trap line don't mean you can't eat good uh fried up some crappie last night and uh decided to have the leftovers today so uh pulled over here check next set next new area here and uh pop the hood put your crappie on your valve covers and uh go check your sets you come back you got a nice hot lunch so anyway looks like yep right there got another nice coon so uh yeah good way to eat all right guys so you just can't beat crappie and mountain dew for a good lunch damn good all right guys so uh just one last time a little quick tip on uh you know just the importance of of setting where the animals are moving setting on trails uh what we got right here is got nice big boar coon that's the ones we're after and dog proof okay but what we've got is i'm gonna kind of scan the area for you it's a field here there's a creek right down in there big deep creek high side bank okay and then over here it goes into a, a small patch of timber just maybe an acre not very big but come walking through here and if you can see that little faint trail there it's not much not much at all and it's a it's a small game trail it's not a deer trail it's a small game trail you can see it goes way back up into the thick stuff uh you know that's that's where you need to be setting so uh you know i i, I always set two traps if it's good for one it's good enough for two so uh there's a there's a blind set there got a, i like them blind sets especially uh out in the middle of the stuff i like them you know with a stepping stick or a jump stick you know and then we come back over here to our coon and i put that dog proof directly in the dead center of that trap where he he would have run into it so now whether he came from from that away or from that away and missed the blind set or if he came from this way and hit the dog proof first we'll never know but the important thing is we got him nice big dry land coon set it on trails it's where you need to be and this big coon here i mean this is a probably pushing 18 18 19 pound coon and it's a big boar and all he's doing is running back and forth to den tree to den tree it's their rutting season so he looks real good he's not rubbed one bit sometimes in the later season they start to rub a little bit he looks great so uh we'll get him taken care of and uh and we'll go home okay guys so uh we got back home here and uh i just kind of wanted to kind of wrap up this uh video with uh today's catch here uh you can see we've got we got five coons sitting here on the tailgate and uh we released one so uh you know caught caught six coons today uh you know not too bad uh i had 26 sets out to catch these six coons and like i said we released one so five coons on the tailgate for me that's pretty pretty average uh you know there'll be days where there'll be 10 or 12 coons on tailgate and there'll be days where there's three you know but uh you know the way i do it is i went in i set and then today i set more sets in you know i put another uh like 24 25 sets in today you know and and the way i do that is i'll do that for three or four days until i get 80 90 sets out and then i'll run those 80 90 sets for for three or four days after that or two or three or you know and that puts a good good time on all my sets you know and uh you know new sets every day produce produce coons and like i said we don't have a uh, road trap in here you know so having to walk into every area you guys saw that you know that's how uh that's how you i keep my averages up you know so uh you know anyway like i said uh here's today's catch uh you know we've got 
we've got about a 70 to a 75 day season here you know and uh usually you can get around 60 days out of that 75 season 75 day season of good weather so uh you know you put in good sets like this on location and uh you know that's how i catch my numbers you know so uh anyway uh hope you guys enjoyed this uh this video uh kind of show you how i do do my trapping uh hope you took something from it i had a lot of requests for it so uh hope i met all you guys expectations to it and uh till next time guys all right okay guys so uh real quick this is just kind of a follow-up here uh anyway this is the uh the following day this would be the uh the second check uh you guys saw the first there uh in the clip before this the second day here uh so this today's take was uh, seven coons and two possums so uh all these coons here are nice big boar coons every single one of them is a boar uh all of them are i'd say over 14 15 pounds that one big one right there in the center i'd say he's pushing 20 if not his 20 but uh what i wanted to say was these seven coons here in front of me four of them come out of sets that i made yesterday so three days ago we put in sets caught five coons off that yesterday and then today i catch seven coons and four of them come off the new set so i that's Really what my point was is the importance of putting in new sets every day. You know, if I wouldn't have put in those new sets, I'd have had, you know, three coons today. But you got to keep building your sets up and it produces numbers like this. And whenever you can consistently do this every day, that's how you get your numbers. All right, guys. Uh, this kind of in this clip. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you know, I appreciate all the requests, you know, for it. So, uh you know, hopefully uh, you guys kind of see, you know, the real life, uh, you know, not just a whole bunch of catches strung together, you know, and that's like it is every day, you know, you go out. But this is this is the way I run my line. So uh, anyway, appreciate it, guys. Thanks for all your comments and uh, requests. So till next time, guys.